Good afternoon, everyone. This is the weekly Tesla update video where I do technical analysis and breaking down uh, support and resistance for you guys, as well as what I will be seeing in the broader market and how it will affect Tesla stock as well. All right, let's get into it. So this is a daily time frame for Tesla. And we had a bearish reaction, obviously, to the earnings. And right now we are trying to see which gap is going to fill first. So are we going to fill this gap to the bullish side first or this this gap on the bearish side first? We did get into the gapping territory on Thursday, but uh, the bears cannot bring it down here to fill the gap. So that means it's a little bit stronger for the bulls. But at the moment, you could also say QQQ was up like what, 3% on Thursday? And that's why it helped Tesla up. And also as well as QQQ was also up another half a percent on Friday, which also helped uh, bring Tesla up as well. So the key question for us would be, so would the QQQ and SPY be dragging Tesla down next week or it'll be helping it? So we have to take a look at um, QQQ as well. So NASDAQ is the futures chart for QQQ. And it's a little bit more clear, actually a lot more clear for me um, in terms of where the resistance is. And so QQQ broke its resistance, this one from um, April 4th, meaning I'll just bring the QQQ charts for you guys to see a little bit easier. So you guys can see here, QQQ has broken all these resistance in this area that we have topped out, including back here as well. Now we're above it. But if you go to the NASDAQ chart, which is the future chart, we have more price action, uh, more data in it. You can see we have just closed right under it, pretty much um, all this resistance. Same thing as uh, SPY. You can see if we go to SPY, and we have broken above it as well. You can see SPY back here. We have broken up this resistance and all these ones. So we're looking up pretty much at this one, but if you go to the future chart, for a spy, which is XPX, um, you can see we are just closed right at the same spot there. And so we are literally right at resistance for both major indices for SPY and QQQ. Um, so that's going to be key for me to see which way we break um, for me. We can potentially, this is a little bit overbought and we just ran straight right at the resistance. So if I'm a bull, I'm in completely comfortable. And if I'm there, I probably already got stopped, likely getting stopped out if we close up this soon. I mean, I did a eight minute video on best of market yourself, KQQ and Survive, uh, an analysis, techno analysis video on yesterday. So if you guys want to check out the market video, make sure to check uh, the previous video. And so I'm just doing it because uh, based on how um, probably of Tesla gapping here or here is going to be based on how QQQ and NASDAQ move. And as of now, the we can see there was some support here um, due to the weekly chart. So let's go to the weekly chart. You can see back here, it was acting as resistance. And see how many times is our weekly candles, meaning it bounced, rejected from it. One, two, three, four, five weeks over here. So you can see all this resistance is now acting as support. So prior resistance becomes support if you were above it. For under it, um, prior supports becomes resistance, so vice versa. So that's why I think um, the balance up here, instead of filling up this gap, as well as the NASDAQ and taking strength, both helping it as well. And just based on looking at this daily downtrend and weekly downtrend, it's pretty obviously we are oversold on the daily, even if I don't look at the RSI. Um, but you can say back here as well, we were oversold and it still kept on going, right? So so that's why we play um, oversold balances at a key support. Otherwise, if it's just oversold by itself on the RSI, there's not a lot of meaning to it. Um, so yeah, so that's what I will be looking at. And if QQ and NASDAQ does break up uh, this key resistance, goes above it, bounce back down here, retest that, um, resistance and become support and then bounce off of that, then um, the probability of us testing this next high is very, very, very likely, especially if it retests. So if it just like shot straight up and then to here, 
then there's a likely chance to be rejected. But if it's like a break, retest, become support, then breaks above this, and we're very likely we'll have a good chance here for sure. And so we'll see. Um, so I was going to FOMC meeting on Wednesday. So that's going to dictate the direction as well for the market. Uh, Fed's going to be raising 25 basis points, and it's an 80% chance. So uh, I'm going to say it's very likely going to happen unless something, some crazy bank stuff breaks in the next three days. Uh, we're very likely, very, very likely going to get 25 basis points from the Fed. And Apple reporting Thursday, that will also dictate NASDAQ's direction. And so that's going to affect Tesla a lot. Yeah, so if NASDAQ breaks above, we're likely filling this gap for sure. And when it comes back to sometimes these um, wedges, acts as a visual guide, becomes, it used to act as support. See all this um, bounces off of it. Sometimes when we come back to it and retest it, uh, it will act as a resistance first. And usually it doesn't matter that much anymore after um, you've been trading out of it for a very long time. So that's not that important for me. The most important part would be this resistance, 186. You can see how many times uh, we have bounced off of it, rejected from it, bounced off of it, rejected from it, bounced off of it, rejected from it. So right now we're under it. It's going to act as a resistance. So that's going to be key. If we do fill this gap, then my next target is this 186. If we do fill this gap, um, there is not a lot of support underneath us. If you, let me see here. So if we do fill that gap, we'll be here. You can see beneath us, there is pretty much nothing. This is not supported at all. You can just see how um, there's nothing here. So the only cluster of support will be this one. And yeah, it will be testing close to the this area and this area. So yeah, there won't be a lot of support in this range. So let's just hope um, the, only, the first support will be obviously filling the gap and then that would make it a bounce. And if we do break that, then it's going to be back down here. So if it comes down here, QQQ will likely, and NASDAQ will likely not be hitting highs because um, I don't think Tesla is going to hit this low while NASDAQ and QQQ goes to new highs, right? That's usually not how it happens um, because it's not, <clears throat> even though Tesla's um, earnings reaction wasn't that favorable, it's not going to just drop 30% for no other reason. Um, so yeah, so I got you guys for Tesla and make sure to check out that market update video yesterday that I made. And there's a lot going to be a lot coming up again next week. So prepare for the volatility and make sure to set your stop losses. And if you've made it this far, if you to subscribe, I will be doing daily update videos and tomorrow I will do the weekly natural gas one uh, for you guys as well. And I will see you guys around. Feel free to ask any questions. And see you guys later.